Here is a third grade math problem. Two times four equals eight, simple enough. I hope everyone here knows how to do that. But what if I told you this was a ninth grade math problem? You'd probably say, well, that's just the same thing reformatted. And you'd be right. Four times two still equals eight. This is what a ninth grade problem really looks like. It seems obvious, but the difference between third grade and ninth grade problems, the difficulty difference, is large. You aren't expected to jump straight from one to the other, but instead you build your skills over multiple years of math classes. It's obvious, but it's important to understand the idea that math classes, like most classes, are structured so that each year builds off the last and content becomes progressively more advanced over time. There's one class, however, that often is not taught this way. Computer science is neglected by many elementary and middle school curriculums so that the same concepts are taught year after year without advancing. My name is Jacob Lindland. I am a senior in high school, and computer science is one of my greatest passions. I discovered my passion for programming at a relatively young age. I was in fourth grade or so when my parents bought me an online course that taught me how to build my own items in Minecraft. From that point on, my eyes were opened to the world of programming, and I was hooked. I wanted to learn as much as I could about this topic, but it was harder than I expected. My computer class at the time consisted of typing practice, learning an outdated version of Microsoft PowerPoint, and a website called Scratch, which provides a simplified programming language for young students to learn. The problem was we would only spend a few days on Scratch before we moved on back to typing practice. I understood that not everyone had the same passion for programming that I did in fourth grade, and it would probably take a few years before the topics I was interested in would be covered at school. But I didn't want to wait. So I began teaching myself various programming languages using any and every resource I could find, and I got pretty good at it after a couple of years. But by the time I was in eighth grade, I hit sort of a wall in my learning. I stopped progressing as quickly as I wanted to, and it became harder and harder to teach myself more complex topics. It was difficult because I didn't have an instructor to guide me through to the next stage of learning. I was frustrated with the fact that I had to still be teaching myself computer science in eighth grade because my eighth grade computer classes were almost identical to my fourth grade computer classes. After all those years, my computer classes still consisted of typing practice, learning an outdated version of a Microsoft Office product, and spending a few days on Scratch. Let me tell you, after so many years of introduction to Scratch days, I began to really hate Scratch. It became a symbol of this stagnation that I felt in my learning. But the truth is, many computer science curriculums are stagnant. They recycle the same content year after year, and students are unable to advance their understanding. I'm not talking about this because I want schools to teach whatever I find interesting. Computer science education has tremendous benefits for all students in all subjects. When I was learning how to code my own items and environments in Minecraft, I was captured by the creativity of the process, the ability to express my creative ideas through this scientific process of programming was incredible. I understood that this intersection between programming and creativity was central to understanding the broader benefits of computer science education. Computer science not only allows you to complete and automate tasks with incredible efficiency through programming, but it also allows you to visualize and investigate the patterns of the natural world and the beauty of mathematics. It even teaches you a whole new way of thinking. Algorithmic thinking is an approach to problem solving that focuses on breaking tasks down into simple, systematic, logical steps. It's helpful for solving complex mathematical or logistical problems, but it's even helped me in my everyday life. It helps deal with stress. The phrase, just take it one step at a time, is a form of algorithmic thinking. 
It breaks your to-do list down into systematic, logical steps. I've also seen the benefits of my programming knowledge in my education. I learned about evolution and natural selection while researching the ways in which artificial intelligence is trained. I learned about functions and recursion far before they were covered in any of my math classes because they are an important part of many programming languages. Computer science skills are also beneficial in our modern job market. Even if you aren't looking to become a software engineer, having experience with programming can help you in any field, whether you're using it to automate your workflow or just practice algorithmic thinking. The problem is there is a barrier of entry for many students looking to learn about computer science. Because students haven't been exposed to computer science throughout their entire education, by the time they reach upper high school and proper computer science classes are offered, they may feel intimidated about taking a class they don't know much about. On top of that, many computer science classes expect students to have pre-existing knowledge about programming that most students won't have acquired unless they spend time throughout their years of education researching programming on them by themselves. I want you to consider your own knowledge. Do you know how your phone really works? Do you know how your computer works, or how Wi-Fi works, or what the internet really is? Don't even get me started on Bluetooth. These technologies have become a backbone of our society, yet somehow they are not a central subject of learning for our students. It's time for us to bring our education systems up to speed. When I was in eighth grade, I wanted to facilitate some of this change in my own environment. It just so happened that the curriculum writers for the organization that ran the school I was attending at the time were coming to visit our campus. So I, along with a friend who shared a similar passion for programming, put together a presentation and talked with the curriculum writers to help expand elementary and middle school computer science. They were very receptive, and we were able to improve the amount of time spent on teaching kids proper programming skills. I saw a problem with my education, and I did something about it. My hope is that I can inspire you to do the same. Call on your schools to radically rethink and expand their computer science curriculums and programs so that all students are given the opportunity to gain these important, valuable, and powerful skills.